Today marks the 16-year anniversary of one of the most powerful cyclones in Queensland's history. Although the southern states have shifted into autumn, it's a timely reminder northern Australia's severe weather season is far from over. Five years before Yasi hit Queensland in 2011, severe tropical cyclone Larry, the strongest Queensland cyclone in a century, smashed the northern coast of the Sunshine State and left a path of destruction that cost over a billion dollars. Larry began as a standard wet season low pressure system over the eastern Coral Sea on the 15th of March, around 1,500 kilometres off the Queensland coast. The intensifying system was monitored by the Bureau of Meteorology and two days later was upgraded to a tropical cyclone. Cyclone Larry was initially tracking slowly west towards the Queensland coast, but accelerated rapidly on the 18th, moving at 500 kilometres per day to be centred just 300 kilometres offshore by noon on the 19th. This caused the bomb to quickly upgrade their cyclone watch to a warning. The threat increased by Larry's deepening to a severe Category 3 cyclone. The rapid intensification continued prior to landfall, with residents of North Queensland warned of an imminent landfall of a Category 4 cyclone, with wind gusts in excess of 250 kilometres per hour. At around 7am on the 20th, Cyclone Larry's Eye crossed the coast between Gordonvale and Tully, bringing heavy rain and destructive winds to the region around Innisfail. Reanalysis of data and damage confirmed in 2007 that Larry was most likely a Category 5 system on landfall, with maximum gusts over 300 kilometres per hour making him one of the strongest cyclones to ever hit the Australian mainland. He tore through the towns of Innisfail, Mission Beach and Babinda and destroyed almost everything in his path. Houses, buildings, power lines, trees and agricultural crops. A 10-minute average wind speed of 200 kilometres per hour was reported in the area. The winds must have been absolutely awesome to blow like trees like that, to take them out by the roots, snap them off at the bottom of the roots, it was just incredible. Severe Tropical Cyclone Larry in some ways was very similar to Severe Tropical Cyclone Tracy. Both were exceptionally small tropical cyclones, even though they were very intense, high-end Category 4 or Category 5 systems. Now, gales from Larry only extended just over 100 kilometres from the centre. All sugar canes down, houses gone, it's... Pretty well. Following landfall, Larry dumped heavy rain that caused major flooding in many rivers. Totals of up to 210 millimetres were recorded in the 12 hours to 3 p.m. on the 20th in the Tully, Mulgrave, Russell, Murray and Herbert River catchments. At 1 a.m. on the 21st of March, as he moved further over the Atherton Tableland, Larry was downgraded back to a tropical low. So this is what's left of the house. Um, TV and surround system and couches and deep freeze was there. Seems like a complete different dimension lifetime ago. Despite Larry's ferocity, thanks to early accurate warnings, only one indirect fatality was recorded after Larry battered the Innisfail region. But the damage to vegetation and property was significant. About 10,000 houses were severely damaged and 80 to 90 per cent of banana crop were destroyed, causing a major supply shortage across Australia until the end of 2006. All up, the damage bill was more than a billion dollars, a figure not surpassed for the state until Cyclone Yassi arrived in early 2011. Made us grow up a lot quicker. We had to realise the value of um, each other and everything else that was, comes with living. Christy Lloyd, Sky News.